Okay. <coughs> Daniel, a win at home. How good does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Um, we're still in the fight, so um, it gives us some hope heading into that last part of the year and um, hopefully get a similar feeling to last year when we needed that run to, to make semi-finals. So, yeah, it was a step in the right direction. And it, it was quite an emphatic win. Like, it was um, not a margin to shy away from. Does that inject a little bit more confidence as well? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, it's no secret that our tax probably been lacking um, this year compared to last year. So, um, to score some points and um, score the tries we did, and you know, it was pleasing. And you know, if we get that defensive stat down a little bit, um, especially heading into this week, I think it will be a good, uh, good stead. What do you make of the Sharks so, thus far this season? Yeah, they've been good. Obviously, they've um, beat some good sides, and the win last week against the Red Hot Arm Titans team was real impressive. So, um, yeah, look, they're not ca going to catch us by surprise in terms of we know how good they are. We need to be on our best game. So, yeah. And what's the talk around the club at the moment about that run to finals? Is there a clear plan forward? Yeah, it's such a cliche, but it's still you know, one, one week at a time, even like one training session at a time. And um, that's what we did last year, and it, and it seemed to work. It's just about um, making them wins and uh, making it uh, into that eight. And within the team, is there that belief and that unity? Is there cohesion going forward? Yeah, definitely. I think if you look at all the players that have stepped up through injury, um, it shows where sort of the club's at in terms of beating these young players through and they've all come in and done a real good job. So, um, yeah, there's definitely that, that belief. Um, we've done it before, so um, there's no reason why we can't do it again. Yeah, talking of those young players, there was certainly a standout on the weekend with Fletcher. What was it like um, seeing him grow and develop since he's arrived here? Yeah, he's a real um, no, mature kid. He's um, a country boy and he just trains all hard. He, um, gets his confidence through training and um, and it shows in the way he plays. He's an effort area player and you know, he's real consistent and yeah, he's going real well at the moment, Fletch. Obviously he's not a he's not a big guy. <laughs> he was probably the smallest one out there on the weekend and normally, you know, would be a fullback, but he's pretty handy out there on the wing having Kalen passing to him. Yeah, definitely. It, it helps. We sort of got two fullbacks back there and um, he, like you said, Fletch, he's only small in stature, but no, he makes up with it with his speed and his agility and his heart. And um, Like I said before, he's only young. I think he can still play um, under 21s and um, yeah, he's showing um, a lot of maturity for his age. Obviously, unfortunate for your brother a couple of weeks ago with that injury and warm up. How's he doing? Yeah, he's disappointed um, to do it the way he did. And you know, we, obviously, we need him at the moment. And um, obviously, he'd rather be out there with us, but you know, he knows things happen in rugby league. so. Uh, he'll be all right. Do you think he'll be back in the next couple of weeks or what's his prognosis? Yeah, it's a decent one. Yeah, it's a real decent one. So, um, look, it's probably one of those ones where assess it near the last round into if we're making semis and see how it goes. But, yeah, um, we tend to heal pretty quick, so anything could happen. Obviously, I know you'll be concentrating on, you know, the remaining four games, but is your future beyond here still on your mind? Mm, yes and no. I think uh, at the moment I'm starting to for Newcastle for two years and you know, there is options elsewhere but um, I'm just focusing on these last four games and you know, if it is my last year at the club, I'm um, enjoying them. Um, it's obviously disappointing if it is my last year, I won't get to play with my brother again, maybe. So, um, But yeah, look, uh, it's rugby league, things happen and whatever happens, happens. Jacob said to us the, a couple of weeks ago, he hopes you're still here next year, that that's still a chance. Is that still a chance that you could be here? Yeah, definitely, collapse? definitely. The ball's in my court in, in terms of that. Um, End of the day, I, they have to um, I have to fulfil my contract if I wanted. I, I could stay if I wanted to, but uh, yeah, if like, I explore my options and it makes sense to go somewhere else, that's an option as well. So uh, at the moment, like I said, I'm just um, with the unknown. Just going to enjoy these last few games. If it is my last year, and enjoy with my brothers. Since all that talk come up about your, your future, you seem to be sort of playing maybe a little bit more freer, or you've sort of it's lifted you a little bit. Has it? What sort of effect did it have on you? Um, it's probably just me coming into the starting team, to be honest. Um, I feel like any game I've started this year has been my best footy. So uh, when I was coming off the bench, it's hard. I was playing limited minutes, and I pretty much wasn't used to it. Like I've been on starting player my whole career, so um, yeah, I got the opportunity, and uh, yeah, and in terms of that stuff as well, look. And yeah, that probably is the case as well, but yeah, I'd probably put it down to being back in the starting team again. And are you sort of like embracing each game as, you know, like if this is your final year, yeah, you've, you've only got a limited number left in the red and blue jumper. Yeah, definitely. I think it, it's probably one of those things where me and Jacob talked about it after he went down in the Panthers game that, you know, you sort of take, take it for granted, um, us two playing together. Um, 
know, we've done it our whole career, so it's probably something you think you're going to do forever. And when it went down, uh, I wouldn't say it was emotional, but it was one of those things, man. Sort of thought to yourself, man, it could be it. So, um, but then again, like, it's it's unknown as well. So, but yeah, whatever whatever happens, I'm still just going to enjoy these last um, sort of four four five weeks.